you are the center of your digital universe. And surrounding you are many technological bodies that do what you require them to do. But only one has the potential to do one better. Let's travel through digital space to explore the planet's surface. Now everybody scream, no respect to the X. No respect given. The first thing I wanted to do is show you this uh, new background that I have in the back of my duo. I, I like it a lot. It's the plants themselves rotating through the vastness of space. And it, it just looks real nice in the background with all of your apps, uh, the light source itself can change to cast the shadow on one side and you see your apps here this looks really nice especially when you close up somewhat like a book that 3d effect as you, your each page flows over the planet it, it, it just looks really really nice the background itself is called just let me pull it up real quick uh mars 3D live background. Now, there are other planets you can get if you aren't particularly a fan of Mars. Uh, here we go. Here's Earth 3D live. You just go to set wallpaper and just like that, you have the Earth in the background. Some people may prefer our little blue rock that we all read side on to each th th their own but no matter which one you choose it looks wonderful on the duo screen but i've tried this app on other devices as well and they just don't look as nice or it it doesn't look as nice on them as it looks on this because it has so much space to use going across both screens the way it it does and instead of just having one screen for it to, um, instead of just having one screen for it to rotate behind like it does now, you lose some of the effect when it's just a partial uh, image. But, but on this, because you have the two screens and it's used as one, when the whole thing comes to life when you activate both screens it's it's just so much more immersive especially as you hold your device in let's say the book posture and you scroll through anything you you might be doing seeing the plant running in the background there is just a beautiful image you can actually view one of their ads here and it will unlock a different plant for, for you for five days you could just pay to have all of them unlocked it is an option uh they do i think before i had the moon uh now i have earth and neptune yeah so you, you're able to zoom in to your planet pinch to zoom out you're able to rotate around the planet with a simple uh, swipe of the finger and if you feel to change the plan that you are viewing, a quick double tap will change the plan itself. Yeah, so with a quick tap, we just jump from Earth to Neptune. You, you gotta like the, you gotta love the way it looks when those rings pass by. Yeah, that 3D effect that is created on this dual screen is just beautiful. My God. So. Like I said, this is the new uh, background that I have. I actually have it on this device and one of my single screen devices just to do a comparison. Because I had it on one. Which one was? Oh, yes. The FE. But the, the FE is doing the camera work now. 
So I can't actually show you how it, it looks on a singular screen, but on the duo and these dual screens, it looks amazing. Look at that, beautiful. Gravity is the most powerful force in the universe. Everything is pulled and pushed and shaped by gravity itself. But suppose I told you, you could control the very direction of gravity. So I'm not quite sure if you've ever been in the sit situation where you've wanted uh, an app or the screen itself to orient in a certain way and it just would not do it for for whatever reason whether it be the the developer or the gy or the gyroscope within the device itself the the app the image the phone itself just wouldn't rotate to the direction you wanted it to now I came across that, I actually don't remember which app it was that was giving me the issue, but I did find a way to rectify the issue, and I think that it would come very hand handy to other, um, not just duo users, but, but just users of Android devices in general. Um, this one that I found, let me just look, find it real quick. Um, here we go. It's called orientation control. Now, what this does is it allows you to force the orientation of the device, regardless of where the uh, gyro gy gyroscope says the device should point its screens and its Im images. I actually used this on the Axom M when I first got the. Uh, device to I think it was so that Pluto TV would change the orientation to how I wanted it to be but it just wasn't working when it should now on this this isn't the same app but it does do the same thing maybe even a little um better than the one for the Axon M to begin with you can change the orientation or the color of the bar now this bar here lives here giving you quick access to the rotation you want to change the device to so let's say I do this it's now upside down or with a quick flip right side up now someone might say why would you want to flip it upside down well the use that I found for it is very simple if you remember my keyboard here, look, when I turn it on, it's, there you go. It flips right, right back around. I'm now able to, to set it in the key, the keyboard stand and have my charger port at the top. So I'm now able to charge my device while doing my work. Now, if you are fully charged, whatever, this might not be as that important to you, but if you would rather be able to do that, at least you have the option before uh, it wouldn't orient this way at all. But it just makes for a better experience when I'm trying to type and my power happens to be low, if it happens to be low, or if I don't want it to drop more than it has to. Now this works on any app that you can actually, uh, let's do it back. See now, that way, all of the time. But if you are someone who only wants to use your a duo in the vertical plane, you now have that option. Your duo will always orient itself this way now who would want to i don't know but to each their own it's not a bad thing 
to do, and with each button press, the duo will stay there. Note, I can turn it this way, that way. It is not moving from that or 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 orientation because I have it locked to that or or orientation. Now, if I press this, we're back in. There we go. We're back in business. So it could come in real handy depending on the situation. You, you can lock the screen or if it might, it, it might not be, be the screen itself. It might be uh, a particular app that you wanted to open it in a certain way. So case in point, let's use 7 11. So let's fix it to or let's do this one fixed that way. So when I open my 7 Eleven app, thank you. Where's 7 Eleven here? It flips. Now, it would be nice if it would just flip one screen and not the other, but you know how the Duo sees its, its dual screens as a single screen. But every time I open this app, it will flip to whatever way I, I have it set to flip, even if it's not supposed to. So depending on the apps that you have, you might want a certain app to open in that particular or orientation every time you open the app. Just faster for you time is money so they say every second counts so you do have that ability with this app uh, now apart from being able to control gravity as they say with this app you are also able to tailor the app itself to fit your particular style you know me i like purples yellows and greens so my, my, my bar is purple yellow and green you're able to actually set all of that in the app set the color when it's touched when it's not touched the color of the circle the color of the bar the background the shapes all of that and it's added a, it added a little personal touch to how you have your app look it's a very useful app depending on uh, the situations you see you find yourself in but I know I found myself in a view where I wanted the app to turn a certain way or at least stay a, a certain way if all, all the way turned there. Once again, the app is called or, or Orientation Control. Very handy with a device like this where the or orientation of your app or of the phone itself is extremely important. And there are some times you just have to force the issue and, and get the phone to orient how you how you want it to now as you rock it to space on your planet's surface something has to take control someone has to take control and that someone should be you with the dual screen capability of your Surface Duo, it would be that much more efficient if no extra accessory was required for that control. A user on Reddit has seen to it that we at least have a glimpse of what that control might be like. He has created an app called S Duo Gamepad, and it is pretty much the fabled second screen gamepad that we saw when the, the Duo was first announced all that time ago. Let me show you how it works here. Now the first thing you do is open up a game. In this case we'll try Sonic 1. This is one of the games the, the developer said works pretty well with his uh, with his keyboard. 
Now, once you have the game opened, of course, you want to invert the game screen. Now, here is the part that at first I found a little tricky, but surprisingly, it does work. You need to go into an app where you can get access to your keyboard. Now, once here, you press the corner here where you see all the keyboard options and you will see S Duo Gamepad as a newly added option. Press S Duo Gamepad and it will pop up there for you to use. If you happen to be doing it in the single screen, it does adjust its size to fit the game. But we have a duo. We won't be using a single screen. Not for this demonstration. So now we're back to the dual screen. And if you note, I am able to control the movements of the options with the arrow keys. Now let's do this. Let's go to green hill zone. I tap A and it did work. Now, you see, what it does is, or from what I read, they they virtually mapped or made their own keyboard, but made the buttons look like game buttons. A pretty uh, neat trick to give us that duo virtual keyboard or duo virtual gamepad because it does work. Now the trick here is this virtual gamepad seemingly only works with games that properly work with keyboards on Android regardless. So if it is a game that does not support keyboard inputs, this will not work at all. And even some games that do support uh, the inputs still don't work. Because this is just, like I said, almost like a beta version of this particular um, app application. Since I've had, it has crashed, I, I've had to uninstall and reinstall because all of the keys went over to one side and it made it unusable. But for what it is, I felt it was worth really trying to uh, make the best of it because us duo owners have been asking for uh, this virtual key or game pad since before the duo was announced. Microsoft showed it to us, but never uh, gave it to us. I failed. Now to set up the keyboard, for it to show up in your keyboard options, you need to go to the settings of your device. From there you go into your system. And from there you go into language and input. Now you saw that I already have S dual gamepad here, there, but in here is where you would go and you would go to manage keyboard. And when you first go in here, S Duo keypad or gamepad will not be checked, or the, the toggle will not be on. You simply toggle that on, you agree and accept the terms and conditions, and then from there you're good to go with all of the gaming needs that the app can help you with. When you go in to the app itself, you are able to adjust what each button does, because like I said, it. it the app is a virtual keyboard that simply looks different from a regular keyboard. What buttons would do A, B, or C are mapped to whatever the arrow is on the virtual keyboard itself. There's more than one style of gamepad you, you could have. This is the XL, like a Xbox or Dreamcast, but you can go into uh, what they call the play style. You are able to customize your own keyboard, how, how you want it to look. Um, I haven't done that yet, but it is an option and you can actually name the, key, the keyboard. So if you have a uh, 
specific keyboard for a specific game, whether it be a racing game or a, a role playing game, you can actually go into the settings and change the keyboard to the one best suited to the game you are playing. And I don't know if I can just jump out of this back to the game, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, there you go. When you go into the game, and you do not have your keyboard open at the bottom, because there are times you will op open the game and the uh, keyboard will completely vanish. They have it built in here that as long as you have the S Duo gamepad in your keyboard options, it, it, it will be in the pull down menu for you to use. Now, as you can see here, the placement of the buttons has changed because I have uh, changed the keyboard. This is the playstyle, more akin to the PlayStation controllers. They do this some other games that this they see that this keyboard works with. They have a little list when you go into the tutorial. I pretty much only only, only tried Sonic the Hedgehog with the Retro Arc M U later, but um per personally I'm I'm not quite sure how that M U later works. I have MAME for my arcade needs, and the MAME for Android works fine. I use that on my fold. But I do want to see how well this controller works with the RetroArc, because the RetroArc supports not only arcades, but also Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and things along those lines. So for our first attempt, at least the first attempt that I know of, to give Duo users the on-screen virtual keyboard we've all been waiting for from Microsoft, Though it does have its bugs, I think it's a pretty good option for those out there who just want to see what it might be like. Now this app is not free, it is $4.99, but for the developer, I think it's a small price to pay him for him at least attempting to give us what we want before Microsoft even tried to get around to it. Now many things in pop culture reference the align, uh, aligning of the moon and the stars to initiate some amazing event. Now the duo itself has very little to do with the al aligning of the moon and the stars unless that's what you're actually into. But you are indeed able to have your own planetary uh, alignment of your apps and services on your phone. This here is a little uh, app that I found from a user on Reddit. It is created by an app called Bubble Cloud. Now what it allows you to do is put all of your apps together in a nice little shape on your screen adds a bit more life to your personal surface un un universe. It's much better to have your apps uh, in look more dynamic than a even grid if you are going to have your apps on your screen to begin with. Now, I have mine in a circular for Nation to actually go with the theme of this particular service duo tips and tricks. But if that isn't for you, you are actually able to change up the look of, of how these apps actually sort themselves out. Now, the cool thing about this particular app or these, this, excuse me, bubble cloud is you're able to actually select how exactly you want your little app grouping to look. With a quick press of this button here, you can have it look circular. You can change the color, change the or orientation. 
so many different options you have. There's a slide bar here. That allows you to make it bigger or uh, s s smaller. It says missed touch. Group them closer or further apart, depending on your preference to it. So it's actually not a bad looking app at all. Now, there's more options. I'm just going to just put it down to a fair size. Now, within the app itself, there are many options that you can do. Uh, there is a premium edition of it. That has that many more options and shapes and all the, all of those kind of things as you can see there you got one large with stuff at the side uh have it look more like the apple watch at least that's what it kind of looks like to me there's all kinds of different options in here that you can go through to customize the look of the app for yourself i just want the circular look because it went with the plan planetary theme of uh, this service duo tips and tricks. I thought it, it does look real nice having all the apps in this circular um, fashion. The apps themselves being the widget as opposed to having a actual widget on the page, which I nor normally do, as you can see with my actual other pages. But it's just a nice little uh, way to, again, create a nice visual for your uh, Surface Duo. And again, having the plant in the background uh, behind the circular shape, it just looks really nice. Really, really nice. Then with the blue, oh, it's great. It's a nice little way to launch your apps if you don't have them in, a, in their own widget all ready. A lot of you might have noticed that my duo doesn't have on the aforementioned bumpers. Let me tell you why. Um, I was online and I saw what I thought would be a very nice accessory for my Surface Duo. And as you know, I'm always trying to find ways to make the duo my own. So I purchased this and I want to share with you the new look that your duo may have if you're willing to deal with some compromises. This here is the Haroom Microsoft Duo Snap On cover for the Surface Duo. Now, I put it back in the box just so I could take it out, you guys can just have a quick or be witness to the experience. Now, when I saw this, I really thought it was a type of leather on the front, because it does really look like it. There is some kind of stitch in there. They do have that, it's a nice look, and it's hard. This is not metal or anything like that. It's a hard plastic. So it, it will protect your duo more so than not having anything on it at all. Now, it, it, it goes on quite easily. But you would just snap on the case. Side one, side two, and note my magnetic charger can still be on. When you close it up, it actually looks really nice, like a little book. And I was excited when I put this thing on. Note the word it was, because it feels great. It gives you something to hold. The Duo is a thin device, and, it, and it, it's a slick device, both visually and physically. 
there are times I feel like the duo will just slide out of my hand, slide off the table, which it has because of just the type of material that it is. This material is coarse enough that it's not going to easily slide away off of any, any, anything. It's not real leather, but it does feel good in the hand. But it gives you some kind of texture to hold on to. But that there is kind of where the positive ends for it. When you get a case or a cover for your device, you do not want to have to compromise to use that case or that cover. And unfortunately, with this particular cover, you do have to. As nice as it, it looks closed, and even when open, you get that nice black on white look. But you are unable to go past this point. Your duo is unable to go into its phone posture with this case on. That for me is a no. Now, if you are one who doesn't go into the phone posture all that often while you're on your device, this here is a, a pretty nice looking snap-on case to have. It comes in a multitude of colors. There's black, there's orange, there's red, there's blue. You can really uh, dress up your service duo on the cheap. This was $21 on Amazon. I'm pretty sure if you look on eBay or whatever the case might be, you could find it cheaper. Personally, I don't think it's worth the $21, but I was really curious to see how exactly this thing looked on my device. And in every sense of the word, it looks good. Even when you get over, over the fact uh, it's not real pleather or whatever it is, it's just a nice looking snap-on case. It's a nice looking snap-on case. And it works. It gets the job done. If your du duo drops, it is more protected in this than just being in one of the skins from D-Brand or Shopee or whatever the, it might be. It is, it's, it's actually pretty tough. And because of the ridge here created by the texture in the middle, you have something really nice to hold on to. And I would recommend this if only they had found a way to maybe, maybe just cut out part of the back give you a type of skin, a black skin to go under this. So when you try to close the device, the seams here don't touch or the edges here don't touch to block it from going into the phone posture. To me, that is an important part of the device. There are times when I'm, I'm trying to write, I need to close the device up and hold it in one hand easily with my pen in the other hand take those notes. I could do it like this, but I shouldn't have to adjust how I like to do things to accommodate the case. The case should accommodate me. So, as excited as I was for this nice looking piece of plastic protection, in the end, I was dis, or I am disappointed with, with that said from my planet's surface to yours this is what I'm into <laughs>